Surveillance tools or cyber weapons is big business. The global demand for offensive cyber systems is rising as we speak and when there is demand, there is supply and here's where Israel comes into the picture. It is not just the NSO group. Israel is the global leader in providing hacking and surveillance tools. This report charts the hacking industry in Israel and how it is thriving. 246 companies in 2012. 528 companies by 2016. This is the growth story of the global surveillance industry. Most companies are based in the US, United Kingdom, France, Germany and Israel. 27 of them are headquartered just in Israel. In fact, Israel is home to the largest number of surveillance companies per capita. Their clients are spread all over the world. These 27 Israeli firms offer a range of services. Hacking of phones, monitoring the internet, audio surveillance and analysis, biometrics, and even counter surveillance. Why just technology? The Israelis offer manpower too. Companies registered in Cyprus, Bulgaria, Switzerland and the United Kingdom are run by Israelis. They are in partnership, direct or indirect, with 21 European Union countries. These cyber alliances are special. Not just traditional business partnerships, many go through the back door. Israel has a cyber cooperation even with countries that don't recognize the Jewish state, like the Arab nations. For instance, when the US announced an arms deal with Saudi Arabia, it had a hidden component. That component was cyber security technology developed by Israel. In other words, surveillance systems from Israel to Saudi Arabia, an otherwise hostile country. If the US was the route to sell surveillance products to Saudi Arabia, then Switzerland was the route to expand into the United Arab Emirates. The project Falcon Eye is a case in point. Israel is the market leader, a cyber superpower. No wonder then that Saudi Arabia approached Israeli firm Interview to help in tracking dissidents on social media. Israeli governments support this business. They see it as an opportunity. Two reasons for that. One is the big money. Prime Minister Netanyahu said cyber is a serious threat and a very lucrative business. And the numbers don't lie. From $240 million in 2014 to a whopping billion dollars and more in 2018. Cyber security equity investments in Israel have grown over 400 percentage in four years. In terms of venture capital investments, Israel tops every other country and the graph is going north. The second reason is strategic. With technology, Israel also supplies cyber security professionals. This gives them an entry into every war room in the world access to the most classified conversations and a heads up on every conflict on earth. This is business plus strategic advantage. And Israel continues to exploit the loopholes of cybersecurity regulation. In a way, Israel's hacking industry has made it the master supervisor of the world. These tools help authoritative states to track activists and opponents. The countries using these tools forget that they too are being tracked by Israel. Bureau Report, Vion World is One.